I'm just showing you basically how it starts out from the Traeger recipe. On the back of a back rip, there's a thin membrane. You gotta get that off. If you don't, it's just like pouring a rub on top of a piece of plexiglass. It's just gonna fall right off. And it's actually quite easy to do. Just get it started. Get a piece of paper towel because you try to pull it with your fingers. It's slimy. It's about the worst part. It's like trying to snap your fingers with snot on them. It don't work. Just peel it off. There you go. The membrane is now off. As far as your rubs, anything you want to use, go ahead. This mixture here, it's a combination between apple juice, Worcestershire sauce, and mustard. The mustard puts a pretty decent flavor in your meat and it also helps bind all your spices. So, just coat it up, doesn't matter, thin coat, thick coat. Whatever tickles your fancy. And then put on it whatever you want. I'm using garlic salt. This is a maple barbecue rub. I buy it bulk. I love it. Such a nice smell to it. You can't really put too much. This is paprika. Paprika will give you a dark flavor on your meat. I can almost hear you already. No, it doesn't. You don't know what you're talking about. Again, everyone has their own system, their own way to do it. Then just do the same thing to your top side. You gonna remember all this more, man? For sure. Because I'm just showing you, you're doing the rest. I can watch it again and again and again. <laughs> Put it on a loop. Just like arts and crafts. Painting. <laughs> no, you can't do it. I remember you in school. You used to eat the glue. Still do. Oh. That's why your mind's always stuck on the same stuff. Do that with such finesse and flair. Yeah, I got a lot of experience shaking this arm. <laughs> That's all there is to it. That's the rib prep. 